In these challenging times, it's important to talk about choices. One way of doing so is to support organizations that bring vital issues and the people who are thinking about them to you. To keep these voices alive, won't you please consider making a donation to the Carnegie Council's annual fund? Your donation will directly support programs such as a video you are about to watch. It's easy. Visit CarnegieCouncil.org and click on the button Mark Support. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. What this place lacks, in my opinion, uh, first and foremost, is a viable long-term economic plan. Uh, it's a welfare state, and it has been for a long time. And in the near term, there's really no alternative, in my view. Uh, Rory spent a fair amount of time over there on the ground uh, in places I haven't been, so he can probably elaborate on this or have an opinion. But it's been my experience that uh, this place uh, uh, really doesn't have one. Now, those that came to help several years ago got together and came up with a, with a plan. There's a blueprint. There is something on paper. In my opinion, it's pretty shaky and uh, not really viable. And so the place needs development. And the only folks that I see really making an effort in that line that's sustainable right now happens to be China. And of course, they're interested in taking care of themselves and they're interested in the minerals that are uh, potentially uh, in some significant supply. And that's what they're engaged in right now. But at least they're there working that piece of the problem. I guess the other, uh, the other thing I would share with you is in my view, there are four things that are needed in this country. And these are really the priority things. Uh, they need roads. And there's actually a fair amount of progress we made in the last several years. There were no roads before. There were tracks and trails. There were dirt roads and gravel roads. Uh, there's now uh, almost completed a ring road that runs around the central mountainous region that ties the country together. Uh, but there's a long way to go. They need electricity. There basically is none. There's some around Kabul. There's some in Herat, a few other places. But there's no national grid. There's no national source. Uh, there's one big dam down in the Helmand River in Kajaki that provides the bulk of the power down there. I mean, it's a fraction of what you'd see in any developed country. Uh, they've got a long way to go. The other thing they need is water management. There's a tremendous amount of water that runs through the country because it comes from the snow melt in the high mountains, both there and up in Central Asia. Most of it runs right on through. Uh, it's not as, uh, particularly well used. There was a system of uh, uh, relatively local irrigation that was reasonably effective, I thought. Uh, Russians worked hard at blowing it all up when they were there in the 80s. A lot of it's still not been re redone. The last thing uh, goes hand in glove with the water, and that's agricult agricultural development. Uh, the place is, uh, I believe, able to, to feed itself. There are 30 million people there. Uh, it's a significant number. You wouldn't think so when you look at the place at first. It seems barren and vast and, and uh, just not many folks. But if you look carefully at the valleys where the water uh, follows, uh, there are a lot of people. And the land is reasonably fertile in these areas. And so they can feed themselves. There's a potential, I think, for some of this to be exported because there's some pretty hungry mouths down the road here in, in India and in Pakistan and other places. So there is potential, but uh, without those four things, I think the economics of the place are not, not particularly uh, wonderful. And again, uh, tied into the first comment I made, it needs to be weaned uh, of its welfare state status. And that's going to take uh, pretty significant cooperation by the, those who are there to help from outside and a, a government that, en that is viable. And that gets to the final point, uh, and that's how is this place going to, going to really stand on its own in the future? And it's going to stand if and when the majority of the people have enduring confidence in a government uh, that can represent them, take care of their basic needs. And, and this is a grand experiment because uh, this place does not a, uh, have a tremendous history of good central government. It's mostly local. It's tribal. It's, uh, it's really uh, uh, been uh, devolved down to uh, people and very close to their homes. Mm -hmm.